Okay, so a friend of mine gave me a whole bunch of Jerusalem artichokes back, well, it was back in the winter. <clears throat> and I had put them in a flower bed and then I dug them up and put them in pots because we were going to move. So this is what they did in the pots. They grew pretty good. Anyway, yesterday I piled potting soil around them and then laid dirt, dirt up against the potting soil. And then just now I went ahead and put <coughs> uh, mulch, I think it's cypress mulch, around all three of these beds. It's not beautiful beds, but that'll do. Anyway, I was trying to get them lined up with these <coughs> mandana bushes. This one got choked out with this grass, whatever kind it is, but I'm going to get some kind of snippers and snip all this out of it. Both these bushes. And down there isn't always a very popular bush, but you know what? I kind of like them. That red color on the top and the green on the bottom. In the winter time, they get red berries and birds eat the berries. So, I kind of like them. It's up to each person, I guess. Anyway, uh, drills and artichokes produce a tuber. Kind of a potato -y tuber. And when they grow, they grow pretty tall. Probably six or eight feet tall, maybe taller sometimes. Produce that tuber, and then in the fall, you can dig that tuber out and use it in a lot of ways to replace potatoes and pickle it. A lot of things you can do with it. So I'm looking forward to that, and this will be part of our permaculture setup along here. Of course, we've got well, you got some hot salad growing. It's different places all over. This one's starting to bloom. But uh, the leaves should still be good uh, good for a little while. So we need to pick a mess of it and have a big dinner out of it. Boil it twice and drain it and put scrambled meats in it. Really good stuff, y'all. Hot salad. <laughs>